Hi everyone, Craig Payne here. I just want to talk to you about a little trick that I've developed with these things. These are the Archie's thongs. Now, we call these thongs in Australia, uh, jandals in New Zealand and flip-flops in the rest of the world. But these come with an arch support built into them. And we sell them like hotcakes in the clinic. Pretty much everyone who tries them on likes them. The problem is with any arch support or any or even in these or in, in the orthotic, if that arch support pushes right where the subtalar joint axis happens to be, it, they, they can actually be uncomfortable, or even worse, if the subtalar joint axis is very medial, the actual arch support area is on the lateral side of that joint axis and is actually a pronatory moment at the subtalar joint. So that's not exactly a desirable thing. So what I want to show you what I do is what I've done with some of these. Now this is my daughter Steffi who, who's volunteered to be a, a participant in this little demonstration. Now I've made no secret of my of being a bit of a fan of the mozzie, the medial oblique subtalar inclination um, foot orthotic or, or design feature in foot orthotics and combine with that the importance of the subtalar joint axis um, in prescribing foot orthotics because as you'll see in this foot here it's actually quite um, the axis is quite medial. So what I want to try and do is incorporate a mozzie um, design feature into these archies to try and um, one make them more comfortable and probably perhaps more effective. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out where the subtalar joint axis, again I'm, uh, this is not a lesson on how to find the subtalar joint axis, um, there's plenty of um, information available elsewhere on that, this is also not a lecture on the mozzie design feature. Um, there's plenty of information on that elsewhere. I have a whole lesson in my online clinical biomechanics bootcamp sort of on this mozzie design feature. But if I was to try and palpate Steffi's um, subtalar joint axis, it's here. Um, yeah, you can see that. So this is the area where we want to, the design to work. And if you even just look at the, even though I promised this isn't a lesson on mozzies, um, you can see this whole area here of the arch is on the lateral side of the axis. So I'm going to mark this quite sort of with this felt pen. It is a little ticklish. And we're going to put the put the arches on the foot, and then what I've done, you can see, I've just transferred that subtalar joint axis of hers onto the device. So let me just stop the video here. I'll go away and do something and then come back and then show you what I've done. Okay, so you can see what I've done here. The first thing I've done is just, I've used, I've used a grey EVA and I've, it's a, about five, six mil thick and I've glued it on on the medial side of that line. Now don't forget that line that I drew is going to be different in everyone's foot. It's going to be in a different place, so you, you'd, you'd move it around. Now I did have to heat up the EVA to get it to fit into the curvature. So what I'm going to do now, and I'll go away and do this and come back, is just better shape it and finish it so that we've got um, more load on the medial side of the subtalar joint axis, now combined with a bit of arch support that come in these arches combined together are going to give a much more comfortable and a much better control of Steffi's foot. Okay, so you can see what I've done here. Now, I've done it in grey um, because I want you to be able to see it. Now, if I was doing this for a patient, I'd use a white EVA. Archie's come in a whole range of different colours, so we have a whole lot of different EVA that will, will, will shape. So you can see how, you know, I've ground that edge smooth, we've smoothed off that edge, so it's definitely wearing this. We we'll just put it on. Um, you, you can't actually see from behind, but you can see what's happening is we've got an extra force or, or load on the medial side of that subtalar joint axis. So can we just look? So hopefully you find that as a useful design design feature that you can add on to products like these that actually helps those ones that are not comfortable because the arch area pushes right on the joint axis and I think we just know from experience with foot orthoses that if there's just too much force right where that subtalar joint axis is, it's just uncomfortable. Um, or as in Steffi's case, the arch area is actually on the lateral side of the subtalar joint axis so not going to do a lot of good. So I'll be keen to see how she goes with this, these over the next few weeks. 
Hi everyone, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Stop, thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe link over here and you'll be notified of any new uploads that I do or check out these couple of videos that are linked above.